think it's a great company, and I think it's it's really lovely for the, there to be what we call a town and girl mix. Um, and I think that what makes me very excited is that everybody works to thinking about the kids that have never been to the theatre before. You know, this the pantomime might be the first time, and to introduce them to the world of theatre um, in this way is a really exciting kind of mission for the company. I suppose that in a roundabout way, what I'm saying is, provided people share that goal, and share that ambition, and then we all work together to achieve that ambition, which we seem to be, then I'm very happy about. It's been going on for what, 30 years now. Yeah. The yes. Would you say it was a significant? Yes, because it's because it's um, it's considered to be one of the main highlights of the art centre's calendar. Um, lots of uh, local children, people from the community, come to see it. The part is brought from well over the border. They come from Wrexham, Towin, uh, Car. You know, they just come because they love it. And I think it's. I think they like it because it's very, although it's modern, it's also got a traditional feel to it. And because we can have, because we don't pay all the members, because a lot of people give up their time very generously and volunteer to do it, we can have a big chorus, we have lots of dancers. Um, and that means that we can, because um, it costs about £50,000 to put the pantomime on. So it's not a cheap thing at all. And I think people appreciate the high production values. In fact, it's, it's story-based, it's traditional, but we always have modern twists and a lot of modern music. Established 1944. Air-raid wardens of Aberystwyth. Didn't have anything to do, funnily enough. Being in Aberystwyth, they didn't suffer that many air-raids. So they formed, they formed a play-reading company. And that's what they used to do in the evenings, apparently. And then they actually performed, the f their first play was in May 1945, which was um, a sort of victory celebration for the troops coming home. And they performed a play called The Private Secretary, which they did in Clangbad and Bow Church Hall. Wishy-washy-wishy. Wishy-washy-wishy. We are with your dish. Hi kids! The magic genie of the lamp has whizzed us back home from the cave. I've always watched the Pantos um, since I was a young boy, so I think, um, and you know, it was, it was a thing you do every Christmas holiday, you know, um, and it's just that magical, it's that magical experience to go and watch something that's so fun. And to be a part of it this year is, is amazing, so I'd, that's why I just wanted to jump on the opportunity. Um, I'm really enjoying it actually, it's a lot different being actually part of the cast instead of because in other pantos being a dancer you're kind of a little bit separate from everyone so it's